Do you want to prevent repetitive strain injury? There are some obvious but not so obvious ways that you can do that. Here to explain is Dr. Robert Markison. And so if you've got cold hands, you're at momentary and long-term risk. Temperature of the hands matters because it's about blood flow, oxygen, nutrient, cell delivery, waste washout, rich, healthy rivers, in and out. If they're cold on the cheeks, you're not fit to work, you're dehydrated, stressed, or cold exposed. So correct what you can correct. Hydrated, fingerless gloves if necessary. Think about the environment, stay warm. Number two, if you're not rested, restorative sleep matters tremendously. And everybody's got a different circadian clock. Beethoven woke up, it was 7.30 a.m. The lighting was right. He had 25 to 30 beans for his coffee and he had a scone and that was the time to compose for all eternity. That was Beethoven's circadian clock. If he was tired, he didn't compose. If it wasn't 7.30, he didn't compose. Know your clock, trust your clock, circadian rhythms. Number three, postures. If you're upright in a gravitational field and Sir Isaac Newton is not gonna change his laws of gravity today, if you're upright, the head is properly balanced. You're not head forward, hunched, limbs forward, twisted into palm down positions like a lizard or a crocodile, then, and you're upright, you have reasonably good posture, free swing of the upper limbs, a sit stand situation if possible, or if you're capable, and moving around, active seating, which we've talked about before. Posture matters. As soon as your head forward, limb forward, palms down, you're in potential trouble. If you can't get out of some of that, then it is cycles of action and repose. Next one, percussive typing, gripping the mouse. All you need to do is get to the threshold of a key generating a character on a keyboard. ANSI standards, one and a half ounces, key pressure per character generated. If you're playing the piano, are you playing forte fortissimo or is pianissimo enough to get the work done, expand pianistic knowledge base, and go on. You can always be loud, you can always be strident, but why would you? You're wasting energy in the aggregate, too much force, not only through a keyboard, but through the hands. Another point of self-awareness is ergonomics. And we've said before, you can't cure everything by ergonomics, but at the very least, you'd like to have active seating, an adjustable, hopefully split and tilt, adjustable keyboard, vertical mouse, foot switches so that you're not constantly using the mouse, voice recognition software for everything but computer coding. But I think computer coding is gonna come along in terms of the capacity to use the voice. If you cultivate clear articulate speech without prevarication, nice synonyms, it missed the word big, but wait a minute, colossal, huge, monumental, monstrous, gargantuan. The whole goal is to get the material down. Words and numbers can be generated by voice, add some foot switches, adjustability in the interface, that will go a long way. Next thing, on a water planet, 72% of the Earth's surface is water. We were probably unicellular one time, that was water. Women are 50 to 55% water. Men are 55 to 60% water. If you take a dry diet of dry foods, you'll leach out all the fluid that you need to keep the brain circulation, heart circulation, hand circulation, internal organ circulation up, never run dry on a water planet. 